Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed, baby. Now let's talk uh, best boxer in the world again. A little bit of Terrence Crawford. A little Terrence Crawford news. You know, because we kind of getting losing focus because of the Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence rematch. Is it on? Is it off? Uh, is it going to be at 147? Did Crawford really say that? Just his team. Uh, Spence, uh, Errol Spence, 154 pounds. That's where he'll be able to do it, even though 147 is, and I quote, his weight division. So, but then right now he can't make it. So 154 would be better. So, you know, uh, my point about that whole thing is, I'll just get our focus somewhere else. If it happens, it's great. If, if not, it's greater, right? I mean, it's a good fight. It's a rematch of the fight. But I would just ask uh, Errol Spence fans, real Errol Spence fans, uh, this do you want to see him with an immediate rematch with Terrence Crawford? Like, immediately, without getting yourself together, taking some time, doing some other stuff? If so, then hell yeah. And Terrence, you fight him at 154. That's what you said you're going to do. You know, even though I know it's in the contract, 147. Go on, let him be on 154. Wait, wait around and see what's going Charlo going to do. I don't know. Let's see what happens on that. But let's get our focus on something else just to get off of that for a minute when we're talking about Terrence Crawford real quick. Just something I was just thinking about because I always say it. But, you know, want it to be the title. You know something? Terrence Crawford got about 40 fights. Now, y'all know I ain't, I ain't on the computer right now. I ain't Googling it. He got about 40 fights. You know what I'm saying? 40 fights. He's two division undisputed. Two division now. Now, just to make sure this is clear, that 135-pound division that he left, that could have been undisputed too. I know that probably irks him as of today because he was the baddest one in lightweight too when he left. So, but that's all right. 140, 147 pounds. Now, that's pretty much a career, right? That's pretty much a damn career. Put him, you know, top 10, top 20 all time or something. You know, two division undisputed, right? But this ain't what this boy trying to do. This boy that said 147, I'm looking to for the toughest guy at 154 pounds, which was Jamel Charlo, also undisputed by the fight Canelo, right? Now, that's where you would probably stop. But to be trying to go would beat the... Uh, face the winner of Jam uh, Jamel Charlo versus Canelo Alvarez at 168 pounds is ludicrous. That's some crazy stuff. But that's what he's up to. Nothing but magnificent, you know, historical type fights. That's going to be a, a hard thing to do to go up to 168. But whatever. We'll see if he's going to do it or not. Some say he should. Some say he shouldn't. But I already know what, what time it is with him. This guy's about top 10, top 20 all time. That ain't enough. He still got some stuff left. And he wants to just make sure that he doesn't waste any more time with anything that's not really kind of cementing more legacy that he already has. He's a Hall of Famer right now, but I think he's shooting for kind of a GOAT type of stuff, you know. And so to do that, you're going to have to be just, you know, just taking the, the fights right now. And uh, because he's beat Errol Spence by such a wide margin, I think people have really come to understand. Now, listen, when you get to the point and you've been fighting about 40 fights, and they got to find, you know, footage of you hurt, you know, about three or four times in your career, right? They ain't finding footage of somebody else's hand getting raised after the fight. They ain't found no footage of you in a close fight. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no footage about that. So what they got to do is find, oh, he was hurt here. Gamboa had him, you know, stanky leg. My boy Gamboa, I was going for Gamboa in that fight, matter of fact. You know, I was hoping Gamboa beat him, you know? But after the while, you just after just bow down. They man, this dude is crazy, Terrence Crawford. Man, oh, he got Gamboa, but Gamboa hurt him, you know. And so did Kavalikas. Did he go down for real? Then that sound familiar. When they start doing stuff like that, then you in Floyd category. You know, y'all seen the videos. Five times Mayweather was hurt. Yeah, we know Madonna clocked the hell out of him at the end of a round. <laughs> we know that that was one of them. Uh, Jorge Linares, Devin Haney type of things. You know, just the last couple of seconds of a round, you wasn't quite concentrated and got clocked. And you just stumbled on over to the ring. That's all right. You know, did Zab Judah have Floyd down? You know, Shane Mosley had him hurt. Floyd got 50 damn fights. And we got to find footage of him just getting hurt and barely doing something. No close fights is what my point here is. There's no close fights. Terrence Crawford, like, how the hell we ain't got no close fights? 
Let's stop with all these this, the accolades we just talked about. No close fights. You just pull the rabbit out like um, Sean Porter was close. You know, if that's what you want to call close, 10 round stoppage. After being told, I got to stop him right now. And y'all know why he didn't really go all day in on uh, Sean Porter. But if we could call that close, I'd call Jose Benavides close. You know, don't get mad at me for doing it. I'm just saying because he was around. He wasn't doing nothing but posing the whole fight. He was losing. But, you know, he was. I was still around late until he knocked me out. You know, I'm trying to figure somebody else close. Nothing. Distance. You see what I'm saying? That's greatness. Floyd Mayweather, nothing. Distance. Castillo with one arm. One arm. Right? Then Castillo in the second fight. Matter of fact, Castillo was in Floyd's ass. All them rounds. You know, but you know, you lost, but you was in there. You know what I'm saying? It's always, you're going to always have somebody that's going to be in there. You know, so what I'm just saying is let's just, you know, uh, kind of just recognize what we're seeing in terms of greatness when it comes to Terrence Crawford. You know, I can remember back in the day, you know, when, um, you know, Larry Holmes, who's kind of really, you know, heavyweight champion, and he's kind of really kind of underappreciated for what Larry Holmes was doing. I was never a Larry Holmes fan at all, but um, yeah, I kind of realized what he was really up to, what he was doing. Just wasn't a fan of him, you know? And he, um, you know, when getting uh, about 48, 40, what was it, about 48 wins in a row, and then, you know, going up against Michael Spinks for that uh, 49th, I think it was. And then I'm going for home then. You know, go and cement this legacy. I, I wasn't down with you, but I understand what your talent is, bro. And I wanted him to get some, get something for himself, a record for himself, so people can really realize what this guy was. Larry Holmes, I'm talking about the best jabs you ever want to see, and it's going to keep coming, you know, from his toes or standing still. You know, can bounce if he has to. You know, he's famously, you know, a Muhammad Ali sparring partner and had to beat Ali, Ali up when he got past 30. But, you know, Larry Holmes wasn't that really appreciated. And uh, it kind of reminds me of stuff like that. You know, when you've got something that's very special, we don't treat it right, you know, while we got it. And uh, Terrence Crawford is something that's uh, phenomenal. And while I'm talking about phenomenal and seeing it while you could, y'all mess around. We're going to miss Deontay Wilder's career right in front of your face. I done told y'all what I, I repeated. I repeated in a Terrence Crawford video. Deontay Wilder's boxing career is worthy of a movie, and it would be a damn good one. Right? Just just straight up simple, boom, I just started boxing, come in here, start knocking people out, blah, blah, blah. And you could use the real footage of the knockouts, the convulsions and all that. I'm just saying. But we don't seem to recognize because we're wasting all our time talking about what they can't do and whatever. But you realize, wait a minute, somebody's getting knocked out all the time. Terrence Crawford has knocked out about nine people that are all bigger than him in a row. All bigger than him, just like Deontay Wilder. Uh, Terrence Crawford ain't fought nobody smaller than him in a minute, right? And they're all knockouts, and we're watching that. But we're talking about some kind of negotiations and other stuff. Baddest dude is walking right now, period. Double Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm out of here, y'all.